In a nutshell, it's a perfect product because it can navigate, it can remote control your mouse and keyboard, and it can do stuff for you. It's actually amazing. There are some downfalls, and we're going to talk about that, but the main reason why I want to show you this today, well, I just want to make, you know, some people's lives easier because this is going to be very good for, let's say, virtual assistants. It's going to be very good for appointment setters. It can do a lot of research. It can book hotel stays. It can just find you a tours. You see it in real time, what it's actually doing. So, for example, it navigates the booking.com website and it books you a hotel or an apartment stay and you see it on action you see the navigation you see all of it and it can pay for you if you give it login info on a certain website if you give it your credit cards it can do all of these things for you also it can use mid journey on its own and that's just perfect it can use other ai tools it can do research it can create slides it can open up google docs and make summaries for you it's really good. But the downside of it, well, let me just show you. Basically, when you open up ChatGPT and you click here on ChatGPT, you've got the Plus model. And if you click on the upgrade, you can see that you got to pay $20 for it per month. And if you want to get the Pro version, which is, well, a necessity if you want to use Operator, you have to pay $200 per month. That is one big downside, right? I don't know if this is going to be like forever, I think they're just going to reduce the price, especially now the deep seek is on and that they just will have to battle with it. $200, well, I don't think so. I've had a lot of information online and people think just like I do, it just isn't worth it yet because yeah, it can do a lot of things. Yeah, it's, you know, self-sustainable. You can just order it to do something for you, certain tasks, and then you can just go out for a lunch or something. But $200 for now, and especially that DeepSeek is going to probably make its own version of it. Well, I just don't think that, well, the price isn't justifiable. Let's just put it that way. One more thing. This is available to pro users in the US only for now. It'll come to the rest of the world, I'm sure of it. But for now, it is just available in the US, and that's a bad thing. But the good thing is about, it, you know, you see it in action. First of all, you see this cloud browser that it gives you inside of ChatGPT operators window. And you see the navigation here. So, for example, it just tells you what it's doing. So you can see it navigating. You can see it selecting things. You can see the mouse moving. You can see the keyboard type, you know. And then you see that it can even close pop-ups and it can close the ads and whatever. And it's a pretty, pretty good thing to have as your friend. So how does it work? You just put a prompt, right? Just on, just like on regular chat GPT, you put a prompt to it, and then it goes over to the so-called CUA. CUA is a computer using agent. So it basically means that it uses computer. You can put screenshots as well, and then you see the actions, and all these actions are going over to the virtual machine. Now, there's a lot of use cases. As you can see, you can just ask it to get a refund for you if you're in a market and you can see the user prompt here so initialize computer and solve the following task how much refund i should expect from my order and you give it the website you give it all the info and then it's just going to start the computer and all these screenshots are going to be live in front of you so it's going to access it's going to click things it's going to wait for things and it's going to give you the screenshots and updates on whatever it's doing right and there's a lot of these things for example there's a grammar quiz here let me just go to the start of this one so the user prompt was go to the plus section of cambridge dictionary finish a recommended grammar quiz without login and tell me your final score and then it goes over you see it in action once again it closes these ads which is really really cool and then it searches for these quizzes you know I see a lot of use case here for the office people in general because they can just put a task there, they just put in all the info that they need, and they can just do go and do something else, right? It'll save a lot of time for a lot of people. It's just good. I love it. So, how can we make money with this? Well, I mentioned appointment setters. You can do a lot of things with that. Virtual assistants, people who do research, people who scrape the data. I found this and this is really good. I mean, the result was pretty good. It scraped data from 10 different blogs about DeepSeek and then it put summaries into a new Google Doc after each one. 
So it opens up a lot of blog posts about DeepSeek, and then it makes summaries. And after each one, it opens up a Google Doc and gives you the summary on it. It can also create slides on Google Slide, let's say. I don't know if they can just still use applications on your computer. I think not, but they can use whatever application you want on a cloud. So for example, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. It can do a lot of things on Notion as well. And yeah, I really think that you can make a great side hustle out of this if you research on Fiverr, for example, if you want to do the freelancing route, how this can help you, how you can incorporate this in your daily jobs, whether your job is data scraping, whether your job is just doing some research, organizing things and appointment setters, as I've told you earlier, basically, whichever tasks you don't like, you can just delegate it to operator. And it's just going to save you time, right? Even if it's just like book a hotel stay for me for, I don't know, March 8th for me and my girl, you know, you just give it, you delegate the task and it's going to get done. Now, I found one more use case and this is for content creators. If you want to build yourself a successful Instagram theme page or you want to deal with YouTube or whatever, you can use ChatGPT operator to do the research for you to scout out your competition to see these posts. For example, I can just send it over to this Fit Methods theme page, which is in the fitness niche, it doesn't matter, but I can tell it, hey, head over and see what kind of posts get the most engagement. So you can just tell it to go and check for the comments, check for likes, check for views on reels, and then you can kind of like get an idea what kind of post you should make for yourself. And as I've told you, it can use Midjourney. It can use any of these AI tools online. For example, it can use Kling in order to make you tons of these videos, right? It can use Leonardo to make you tons of images, which are generated by the AI. And it's basically AI using AI. It's like an inception. It's really, really good. It can't use ChatGPT operator. So you can't tell ChatGPT operator to head over to ChatGPT operator and do something that's blocked. But any other website, application online, whatever, it can use it. Now, of course, there's a lot of people who aren't satisfied with it, and it's especially because of the price. And some people, while well, they just think it's not yet where it should be, maybe some people have like, I don't know, maybe big expectations, but I think that this is just gonna be better and better. But honestly, right now, I think that operator isn't worth $200 per month just yet until it's like really, really good and until it's like really self-reliable. You know, sometimes you have to just check what it does, right? It asks you, for example, if I don't find what I was looking for on one page, should I just continue to search for more? And then you just have to type yes. So until they solve those little things that can just bug you, it's still not worth it, right? I mean, whatever you do, $200 per month, it's a hard thing to get, right, to justify the paywall. And maybe, just maybe, this one will surprise us and eventually they will come up with their own. I mean, the basic version is already better and I've got a few videos on it, so make sure to, yeah, just have a look. I like DeepSeek more because it came from a startup company and it's just not open AI and it's not like billions of dollars and they don't ask for any kind of price Already, this DeepSeek R1 model is better than ChatGPT. You know, the regular version of it, it's better, right? It's better, and you see it in action, and you don't have, don't have to pay for it. It's just better for me. So, yeah. Anyways, wish you good luck, and I'll catch you in the next video.